It's my last night in Moscow. And tomorrow I'll be heading back to London tomorrow afternoon. It'll be nice to um, not to be illiterate. <laughs> it's true what they say, illiteracy is a problem. <laughs> I'm just starting to get to grips with it now in time to leave. I look at the words now and some of them I can actually make out some of the sounds and things. When I first arrived it said squiggle, infinity, pi, upside down six, things like that, um, which is not that helpful. But I'm getting there. And I was really proud of myself this afternoon in an electronics store. I asked the young man where the nearest ATM was and he told me. <laughs> he understood. And I even understood his answer even better. So that was that was really good. Today hasn't been the best. Um, I had my first run-in with a Russian. Because they've all been so great so far. But this woman was crazy. I used a public toilet and turned out I should have paid, I think, before I went in. Which I just didn't realise. And I didn't object to paying, although I've been in some pretty foul bathrooms in my time and that was one of the worst. It was disgusting, it was so dirty and there was no water and no soap, so I don't really know what you're paying for. But um, she was waiting when I opened the door to pounce and she grabbed me and started pushing me. So that kind of made me angry. You can't do that just because somebody doesn't understand. Um, so I shouted back at her a little bit and waved my arms around and then I walked away really really fast because I didn't want her to call the police um, in case they asked for my papers and things which would be okay I've got I've got my invitation and my visa and everything but if they wanted to see my passport which they're entitled to ask for um, it was in a really interesting place right then so <laughs> good luck to them <laughs> although apparently you're supposed to actually show them a photocopy and, and scream about calling your embassy if they insist so that was a bit, um, a bit of an experience and I didn't really see anything I wanted to. Um, I have been walking around for like three hours in this area trying to find a history museum that I really wanted to see but they don't seem to believe in putting streets on the maps here in Moscow. They, um, they have streets, they have maps and never the twain shall meet. Um, so I knew the metro station I wanted and I was walking around it on all the streets but that's not really worked. But on the other hand, I found some cool things at that Christmas market back there that I guess I wouldn't have seen if I did go to the History Museum. So, yeah. I guess if I travel through four countries in a week and a half and that's the worst that happens, it could be a lot worse. I went into a couple of shops and got some bargains. Um, I got a Lonely Planet at the end of last year. It was the latest edition and it lists the exchange rate as double what it is so I'd been here for like three days spending rubles and found out that I had actually spent only half what I thought I had which was good I'm glad it didn't go the other way but it's obviously happened really fast so effectively you've got everything half price There's a lot of the shops are the same here that are in London and the things are half price so I've got a couple of bargains there and I'm about to head back to the hostel for an early night and I'm eating a Russian ice cream which is really great because it doesn't melt um, yeah it's really good one of my new Russian friends gave me a thing the other night that's like um, it had a really buttery texture but it tasted like vanilla ice cream and it comes in a little waffle kind of a thing I think this is the frozen version of that so Russian ice cream they know about cold things 